Hello everybody, Robochuck here, bringing you another video vlog here. Um, I do actually have something to say about the WWE, but first, if everybody watched NXT tonight, which I did earlier, just about not too long ago, it was one hell of a two hours. I mean, we saw when your rush became the new cruiserweight champion, and we also saw at the end that Shida did his best against Walter, but Walter appeared to be just a little bit too much. And Rhea Ripley, I can't wait for her to go after. Santa Blazler and dethrone her. Point after she takes care of Bianca Belair, of course. And Tommaso Ciampa's going to be in action next week. And in two weeks, we're going to see Double Team Dream. Hopefully, we capture the North American title against Roderick Strong. Um, in my opinion, I don't think Roderick Strong deserves the title to begin with because he can't simply be able to win a match on his own without the, but his buddies down the disputed era helping him out. I mean, yeah, they were they were at ringside announcing, but they were about to come to ringside, and that drew focus from Scott to them. Oh, uh, so. Scott takes his focus away from Roderick Strong, and then Roderick Strong takes over, and Roderick Strong wins. Which is really pathetic. Because we saw Adam Cole defend his title a number of times, and he's won matches on his own. You know? Um... Of course, we all know about the Street Profits. They were the one that tag team titles back last week. But no, Roderick Strong had to interfere. And I don't call, of course, using that, like I said, cast. But it was legal to wear in the ring, so you really can't argue there. But, like I said, um... A little bit angry with WWE. The only reason why I say this is that the past year they brought NXT talent to Raw and SmackDown, and they're not utilizing half of them. You know, you got freaking what? You got EC3, okay? You got Eric Young, okay? Uh, not utilizing them at all. Barely even using them. Now all they're doing is just using them as extras. I mean, Eric Young's got fucking talent. EC3's got talent. And they're not utilizing them. I'm, this is what I'm sick about the WWE. They get wrestlers from NXT bring them over to Raw and SmackDown, and they barely even use them. Pisses me off. <sighs> um, today, I barely even did much today. Um, just stayed at home. I was playing Fallout Shelter. Which I enjoy, enjoy that game, uh, you know, and it's still free to download if anyone's interested in that. Um, all you have just that, you have to like pay in order to get like, um, lunch boxes, bottles, and some kind of robot that goes back and forth on one level. Excuse me. Oh, and I found out there, there was a YouTuber that left a comment. 
um, stating that he thought that was fake until he saw my Twitter account. And now he found himself that I'm real. Um, anyone that does not know me yet or does know me now, I am 100% real. There is nothing fake about me whatsoever. I am as real as you can get. And also this Friday on the WWE live streaming on the WWE Network and probably any other social media. We're going to see, like, I guess a contract signing of Cain Velasquez and Tyson Fury. And something's going to go happen there between them two, along with Brock Lesnar, Universal Champ, uh, not Universal, WWE Champion, and the Monster Braun Strowman. So, being looking forward to that. Um, of course, I won't be able to watch it live stream. I'm going to have to wait till it shows up on YouTube. Can I do it? I think I'm tired for some reason. I have no idea why. I'm just... No, I don't even feel tired, and I'm, for some reason, yawning. I'm getting enough air in my body. Um, my son came over today after school. Um, he stayed here for a couple of hours. Then he went. Then I had to walk him home, like I did with him yesterday. Um, from now turning from the. That's right, Dad. Came home. I watched NXT for two hours. Took a shower, and now I'm doing this. And that's that's it. Um, as far as video games goes, um, we found out that Doom Eternal is getting an extension on the release date. Now that I understand it, that's going to be coming out for the Switch in March. Um, I don't know if it's just for the Switch, or it's for all consoles that's coming out for. If, if, uh, don't know if Doom Eternal's having a problem running on the Switch, which I don't really understand it because the Doom that came out for the Switch, that runs out, that runs fine. On a switch, I mean that it runs perfectly fine. So I don't know what kind of problems that they're having with Doom Eternal on a switch, but I hope it gets fixed. And what also pisses me off is that the people that make WWE 2K they will not make any more games for the switch, which pisses me off because I know that the last WWE 2K on the Switch, I know that it was horrible, you know, and they tried to fix it time and time again, nothing would work, the only reason why that didn't work is because you guys rushed it on the Switch too soon, you couldn't wait till you bring it back into shop and be able to see how it would run on the Switch first before you made it come out on the exact same day as the other ones came out on other consoles. I want WWE 2K on the Switch, but you gotta do it the right way. You gotta bring it back to the company, okay? You gotta bring it to the shop. Okay, then you got to go through the process on h how to fix the problem, if there's going to be any problems. How, what you can do in order for the Switch to be able to hold this much data and everything on the cartridge so it can work on the Switch. You didn't do that. After one fucking 
comment that everybody made for WWE 2K when it came out on the Switch and it was awful, plain and simple. You just like throw the whole thing away. Don't even bother making it for the Switch anymore. Don't even bother trying. That's what went wrong. You guys do it on the Switch too soon, too early. You have to work on these problems first before you put it on the Switch. <sighs> Your companies don't understand this sometimes. So you make, so you hear a few comments about a game on a Switch that, on a console that sucks. And you just don't even bother making it for the, uh, for that console. Bad business. Okay? And, here's another thing. Um, RGT, Sean, A5, Sean, he talked about this. He said that they're going to have, the game Agony was going to come to the Switch. Which, I don't see why. I don't see why or how it's coming to the Switch. My question is why. I agree with Sean. RGT. Why is it coming to the Switch? It was horrible on the PlayStation and the other consoles. It was really, really horrible. And now you're going to bring it to the Switch? Either you guys at the company that make, that's making agony, okay? Unless you are planning to fix the game Agony before you put it on the Switch so it can run better and smoother and everything. At least then I could probably see you put it on the Switch. But if you're just going to leave it the way it is, like it was put on other consoles, don't, don't, I, I would say don't even bother buying Agony for the Switch. If it's just going to be the same thing like on the other consoles was terrible. And, you know, I know I'm not going to have my fun, but all, quite, all the great games are coming out this month. You know, Luigi's Mansion 3, I would love to get that, but I'm not going to have the money for it. Uh, both Resident Evil 5 and 6 is coming to the Switch. Um, I thought, I'm, the only reason why I'm getting Resident Evil 5 and 6 is because I have Resident Evil Remake, Resident Evil Zero, and Resident Evil 4 on the Switch. And I thought I will just complete the whole thing by getting Resident Evil 5 and 6. Resident Evil 5 does look good. I haven't played it on, on the Xbox or the PlayStation. Um, so I don't really know how <clears throat> the gameplay is and everything. I've seen my uh, son and his friend play it when his friend brought over the Xbox 360. Um, it looked, graphics look great. Um, and the fact that you'll have another person to help you in the battle, that's great too. I just don't know how, I just don't know, just haven't even played the game, so I can't really say if I like the game or not. But, I've seen Resident Evil 6, and I agree with Sean, it's just, it, it really just takes, in a way to another story of it's like not even Resident Evil you know it's like another complete story and like I said I'm just getting it because I want to just finish the series off but I will be playing it and I know the graphics look great but I the way that it is and all it's Nowhere near like it was in Resident Evil 4. Um, and that, um, and that's it. I'm going to end the video here. 
Um, and, and like I said, you guys have any comments for me, put it in the comment section below. And when I do a video, next video, I will, I will comment on it uh, in, in the next video. So, with that in mind, I'll see you in the next video. And that's the bottom line, because RoboShock says so.